Hello! Hello friends, this is Fourth Guy in Line uh, coming at you with a new review. This one is of the uh, Lego Maersk Line Triple E. This thing is massive. It's really hard to even get the box on camera. Um, I haven't done a lot of Lego reviews on the channel. You're going to see some more coming up, but um, I really got into Lego in, uh, pretty big recently. And so this is probably uh, the favorite, my favorite one that I've built. This is uh, set number 10241. It has 1,518 pieces. And this is just an image of the box. You can see that it is 26 inches long. The finished kit It's 26 inches long. It's rated as expert. Just um, a dramatically large box. It blows my mind how big this box is. I mean, it's huge. When we flip it around and look at the back, you can see the finished model along with some of the features. Uh, just really, really fun to build, really immense um, kit. So without further ado, let's take a look at the actual kit. And there it is the massive Maersk liner. Uh, I put a minifig in front of it just so you get an idea of scale. This thing is just huge. Uh, as far as the build goes, I will say it took me probably six or seven hours to build. I did build it straight through. Um, it is a pretty repetitive build. It's more or less symmetrical. The crates and such, you know, it, it Everything kind of, uh, you're building everything multiple times for the most part. Um, the sticker placement is also kind of annoying. I'm not a huge fan of sticker placement on Lego for the most part. So, you know, that was a little frustrating. But overall, I think that the ship looks fantastic. I have it displayed in my living room. Um, and it just, you know, just looks like a model ship in my living room. It's just really, really neat. So let's take a close-up look at some of the details. Let me get the little minifigure out of the way and bring this a little closer to the camera. Now, as you can see, we've got all of the container crates stacked up across the top here. And you have a little bit of freedom. Some of these are, are actual massive one-piece sections. But you have a little bit of freedom as to how you organize them. So I kind of went for a uh, less... Um, symmetrical approach. I didn't want them all to be the identical in height. But as you can see, just this thing is just really, really long. Um, thank goodness there's a lifeboat because, you know, you don't want to be <laughs> caught on the ship when it's going down. And then up here at the front, we've got the mast, the lighting. I guess it's not the mast, but it's all lighting and I think it looks really, really cool. A close-up on the nameplate tells us that this is the Maersk McKinney Moeller. Uh, and you get some more information about the actual ship. The display base on this, I just, I don't know. I think it really ties the whole thing together. I think it really makes it look um, just awesome. So we're going to turn it again and kind of take a look at it from the front. And you can see just just tremendously long it's just massive i can't stop talking about how huge this boat is um the control tower not a lot of detail i mean there's no inside the control tower we're just looking at the outside um but you know you can just imagine a tiny little captain up there steering the ship and then when we turn it around this other side we actually get to see some details of the motor and propulsion system Again, we have another lifeboat. And then when we come around to the back, just get to see the propellers. Now, if we take off these back sections, you can actually get a look in the inside of the cargo bay. Let me see if I can tilt this. But yeah, you can actually get a look at the inside of the bay, the motors, um, just really, really cool. But, you know, it is a container ship. 
So you just have lots and lots and lots and lots of storage space inside the ship. Um, heck, you could hide your valuables inside of it. In fact, they give you little gold coins to put in there for whatever reason. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it just, it was a really, really fun build. Um, like I said, it is a little repetitive, but I'm okay with that. Um, I kind of like the, the kind of trance-like feeling I get when I build Lego. It just, I just kind of zone out and just get really into the build. And that's part of what all the fun I think is with this, uh, with these sets, especially these big ones. Um, it was a hefty price. I want to say it was about $200. Um, but for, you know, price per brick, bricks and also the amount of time and fun and, and just how stunning it looks at the end, it being a little bit expensive was kind of okay. Um, I don't buy a lot of Lego. I do buy the ones that really appeal to me. So, um, I kind of felt like it was okay for me to spend a little bit on this set. So just a absolutely tremendous, tremendous set. I'm gonna put it all back together and then we'll talk about my final thoughts. And there we go. Final thoughts on this, you know, there are some Lego sets like the Lego Birds, which I reviewed before, before that really kind of transcend um, what most people think of as Lego. And I think this is another one. I mean, this is a, a, a almost realistic look at one of these massive tanker ships or um, container ships. And I think that they've really outdone themselves in creating something that you can really share as a centerpiece of a, of a living room. I mean, it would look at great on a coffee table or a sideboard. I just think that it, it really represents um, what you can do with Lego well. And I just, I think it looks tremendous. So if you're someone who enjoys Lego, I strongly suggest picking it up. Um, it's, a, it's a really, really great build. And um, I will say that everyone at the Lego store got really excited when I asked for it. So um, it's something that people get really jazzed about. So totally, totally um, worth picking up. So that's it. That's the, uh, the Lego Maersk um, set number 10241. Uh, look forward to some more Lego videos. We'll probably have some more before the end of the year, just kind of wrapping some stuff up. And uh, thank you for watching Fourth Guy in Line. Thank you for subscribing. If you're a subscriber, if you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button and I'll keep bringing the videos. Thanks.